Pasadena, two teams will be battling for the Dr. Pepper Coaches Trophy. And speaking of coaches, our colleague Lisa Salters is standing by with Chip Kelly of Oregon. Lisa. Thanks, Greg. Chip, for people who may not have seen the Ducks since week one, in what way has your team grown since then? You know, we, we played a bad day, and people have the bad days in their life, but we won't be defined by that one game. Our guys are going to go out and just play as hard as they can tonight. We'll see how it goes. Undefeated in the Pac-10, what did you tell your guys before they came out here in the locker room about, about, about what to uh, what's at stake tonight? I told them I loved them, and I was excited to see them play tonight. Right, thanks and good luck. Right. Lisa, Oregon won the toss, but they have deferred, which means that Pete Carroll's offense will handle the ball first, and... Uh, Rob Beard will kick it off for Oregon with C.J. Gable and Ronald Johnson back deep. That is Johnson off the injured list last week and the wide receiver with a fine return before the Ducks gang up on him. But he crossed the 30th bend and he is a road warrior as Kirk Herbstreit just told you. Third and nine, he had a 15-yard completion. Pump fake, tosses in zone high. Williams incomplete. Tommy Jackson the third, the junior from California, with coverage and very well done by number 37. Uh, There's a little bit of a slant and go, and Jackson doesn't buy it for a second. He's right there with Williams. The ball is thrown to the corner, almost has a chance, but you'll see it right here. Jackson actually gets in there and get, knocks the ball away, knocks the arm actually away. And of course, a very loyal alum who is here tonight received an honor. Uh, this has become just a fabulous presentation for the athletes. The kickoff is fielded by Barner. Back up, money back. He has a burst. He's returned one for a touchdown this year. Breaks free in a foot race. Needs a block. 25. He is down to the 16-yard line. Remember, they have fake field goals, and the backup quarterback, Nate Costa, is the holder. They will settle for the tie here in the early going. After Kenyon Barner's 77-yard kickoff return, a young man from Riverside, California, sets up the field goal. Strong arm that he has. Last week against Oregon State, he had two interceptions. Johnson took one right to the face mask. Shaken up just a touch. Off the field. Barkley on third down. Steps up incomplete. Trying to work back into the middle. We're open. See if he settles down here in this second series. Richard Freshman from Texarkana. Michael James is 21. He's a running back. And a gaping hole in the middle of the Trojan defense. Now remember Oregon State. Able to put a lot of yards on this defense last week. And on that quick tempo, James on a cutback. They like to pick up the tempo. Chip Kelly says, I like this offense to run as fast as I talk, and he can talk fast. <laughs> this offense, again, they're going to spread you out, and they want to run the football. The only way you're going to see them really commit to throwing is if you start to commit seven or eight. We'll come in for this rep. Quick hit on the outside, soft on the corner, and they pick up nine more. So Masoli, first completion of the night. Payman continued to crash, and Masoli would simply take it himself out there. Third down and three. The fake to throw. Masoli steps away from trouble, does a beautiful job. Complete for a first down. What a great play by the quarterback. What great footwork by number eight. Uh, Masoli's ability to create tonight will be important, obviously, against this SC defense. They catch him off guard, he breaks contain, but right here, the patience to be able to look downfield, buying enough time. I thought he might run for the first down, but eventually he makes the throw. Nice job there by Masoli of buying the time and finding his receiver. David Paulson, a backup tight end, doesn't get as much acclaim as Ed Dixon, but number 42 can be a tough one. Now, another soft corner. He hits it for a first down, and they are down to the 15-yard line. D.J. Davis, the junior from Denver. Coming off, he missed a game because of a knee injury. Going to flare it outside. And James 
crosses the five-yard line, and they will have a first and goal. On third and James. Against the Huskies, Masoli twice walked into the end zone on the zone read without anybody touching him. Keeps it again. Touchdown. Same play that he burned the Huskies with. The evening's first touchdown. Jeremiah Masoli, number eight. You may not have heard of him, but by the time this game is over, you are going to know about it. Reposition this young tight end Ailes here on third and 13. Here comes the pressure. Barclay dropped by Ailes. Ailes had a step that would have been a huge gain. He could not hang on. What a great read here. Thanks for the props, sir. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here comes Masoli. Complete on first and ten. And very close to a first down to an A. The man they call LT, number 80. Just got the first down. Good effort. Five in his quickness. He could be a great weapon tonight. Meanwhile, Texas shutting out Oklahoma State. 10 nothing is the count there. There on the read is James. And James breaks free. 30, 25, 20. And finally run out of bounds by Taylor Mays. How did he break free? It looked like well, Michael James was going down, but he can whip you. And quickly from the 12-yard line. They come right back with him. Picks his way. Seam stop. Keep going. Another first down. Back to back. Fine runs by Lo Touchdown, Oregon. They stick right with Crenshaw. Three straight runs. And just like that, the Ducks regain the lead here. McKnight, the Trojan running back. On the toss, Shoemate gets the outside man, but slipping through is Boyette. Soli has time, receivers covered, and there he takes off, and does he burn the Trojan D? Looked like he was going out of bounds, and he just kept coming for more, all the way to the 31-yard line as the rain starts to come down. 49 yards on the run. Masoli knew coming into this game his ability to create when things were covered would be a key town. Good job of showing patience. He waits for things to open up, and then you can see. And 11 yards, 136 on the ground. Masoli's got more. Takes that late pick into the red zone and knocked out of bounds. Taylor Mays. He's had to come down just a little bit harder now. Play fake by Masoli. Looking down middle, touchdown, back of the end zone, and the Ducks regain the lead on a fine scoring strike to Jameer Holland. Play fake two into Masoli's going to open up with a pass. Middle's open, got it complete first down. So the first play of the second half, and Masoli goes to Ed Dixon. The very talented tight end who makes his first catch of the night. Again tonight, that he can throw the football. He's 8 at 12 for over 100 yards already. Turns all the way around. Got a man open. Complete again for another first down. Back-to-back -back strikes, and there's two their adjustments. Second down and 15. In underneath, first down. Came back on second and 15. Hit Jeff Mayle, the junior from California. For the first down and the chain, they must have rehearsed a half dozen different fakes. A 35-yarder coming up. Wants it on the 10. He's got it. goes up the other. incomplete he used Brandon Carswell as the target and he was covered by Jackson and it'll be a fourth down at eight trailing by ten horns are doing in Stillwater and uh will await that and now it is first and ten here for Masoli and the Ducks off that play fake now he's got a wide open alley 35 
Steps out of bounds at about the 45 yard line. It's exactly what Pete Carroll is trying to do. Masoli when he does that. Here's James again. Remember, he's over 102. And he picks up at least nine on that carry before Harris can bring him down. But he, he, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, come back on Friday. There's a handoff to young James. James breaks free again. James is inside the 10. It's a first and goal for the Ducks. Coming right back for an easy touchdown. A walk-in six. And look how he hands the ball to the official. No danger there of picking up the penalty. Celebrates with his teammates. USC's defense is lost and confused right now. First down. Got to be careful as he goes down and is sacked. Uh, your rhythm and also your accuracy. That time throwing the ball well behind his receiver. Third and 17. Pressure. Won't get the first down. A delayed blitz. Forces Barkley out of his comfort zone. He wants a face mask penalty, and it looked like it was an inadvertent grab of that face mask. That's about as angry as I've ever seen Barkley. Sully hands it back off now, and here he breaks into daylight again. Still going. Near midfield. What a performance by LaMichael James. A redshirt freshman from Texarkana, Texas. 23 more yards. Herbie, he's put up 170 on these guys. You know what? This is not zone read. This is not confusion. This is a power play where Carson York, the left guard again, is leading his way around and picking up a defensive and outside linebacker. And LaMichael James fitting perfectly right behind him. The offense. Second down and nine. Masoli breaks into the red zone, and Mays comes up and really pops it at the end of that. This offense in sync and definitely feeling it right now. Chip Kelly wants to keep attacking. Before the quarter runs out, he wants another play. They're going to get it. Touchdown, Jay Barner. Kenyon Barner. Another redshirt freshman from Riverside, California. But they play so well as a group. Third and six. Goes deep. Out of bounds. And it will be fourth down. Oh, what? Three touchdowns, 41 to 20. Masoli just picking up mail in underneath for another first down for Oregon. Here's Morgan Flynn on how to attempt the field goal. This, by the way, was Oregon's 10th possession of the game, and it was their eighth trip to the red zone. So they've handled the ball 10 times, and eight times they've been in the red zone. Remember, they fumbled once, they got five touchdowns, and now they add a field goal. 44-20. The Ducks with the lead. And Barkley comes back the other way. And that is short of the first down. And that's Damian Williams. This defense has been at it the entire game. Nick Aliota, you know, he came out and he made a comment. George thought he was just going to wind it down nice and quietly. <laughs> right. And you sent him quickly to the record books. He and Brian both considered searching. And look at this. Masoli, and he's down close to the 10-yard line. Three-yarder. And it is 47-20. Herbie, one of the things. Blitz on Barkley, fires back toward the middle. It's intercepted. And that'll do it. There's a new king in the Pac-10. T.J. Ward with an interception to close it off. And Coach
Coach Kelly seeks out Pete Carroll. 